Blessed be the name of Jesus. This is another wonderful day that you have made, O oh God. Hallelujah. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father God, that you have brought us in this place together once more. We are gathered, O oh God, to worship and to praise you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name this morning. We honor you this morning. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise you, O oh God, because your word says, let everything that I've breath praise the Lord. We praise you this morning. We honor you this morning. King Jesus, we bow down before you, O oh God. Hallelujah. You are our heavenly Father. You are our heavenly Father. You are our God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For you are great and do wonderful things. You are God and God alone. There's none like you, none beside you. You alone are holy. You alone are true. You alone are righteous. Hallelujah, mighty God. You are the one who robbed yourself in flesh to suffer and die for the whole world. Hallelujah, you shed your blood for us. You suffered and died, but after three days, you rose again and you are alive and alive forevermore. And you sat on your throne. Angels worship you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We join with your angels this morning. We worship you. We adore you. We honor you. We 
we say that you are holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and needs to come. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Who is like unto our God? None. Hallelujah. All the gods of this earth will fade away. But from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are true. You are faithful. You are righteous, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. What a wonderful name. What a powerful name, Jesus. At your name, Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that you, Jesus Christ, is Lord. Father, as we come before you this morning, oh God, I pray for your touch upon our lives, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, touch our ears, Lord, our hearts, our minds. Your word said that we sin in thought, in word, and in deeds. This morning, I pray so that you can cleanse us from all sins, God. God, I pray so that you can forgive us, Lord. I say, God, that we are sorry. We are sorry, Father God. The many times we sin, we fall short. Cleanse us today and make us holy indeed, oh God. Hallelujah, Father, do not take away your Holy Spirit from us, oh God. Hallelujah, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing, Lord. We are falling flat, oh God. So please, God, do not take away your Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit reign, Father, Lord, abide in us forever, Lord Jesus. This morning, I pray so that you can come and take your place in our lives. Father, Lord, loose us from this flesh of ours, God so that we can worship you with all of our hearts, our souls, our minds, with everything that is within us, God. Holy Spirit, rain down in this place. Holy Spirit, rain down. We need your presence. We need the power of the Holy Ghost to move in this place. Hallelujah, Father, anoint each and every one of us in this century this morning. Anoint the pastor, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you strengthen him in body, in mind, in soul, and spirit. You anoint him, Father God, and use him, and use him this morning as he will open his mouth, put the right word in his mouth, Lord, for you know where each and every one of us are lacking, Lord. You know the words that we need this morning, oh God. Word of correction, oh God. Word of comfort and strength, Father God. In the name of Jesus, anoint our song leader this morning, Father God. Use him, Father. Choose the right songs, Father, so that we all can worship you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, so that when we leave this place, oh God, Father Lord, we can live different, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And those that are listening, Father, oh God, breathe upon them, Lord. They too can worship. They can join in the worship and praise this morning. Minister to them also, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for we come expecting to receive from you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Holy God, as we come, we lift up the sick before you, Lord. We pray for your touch, oh God, upon Vince, Lord Jesus. But the things that are impossible with men, Lord, they are possible with you, Lord. We pray, oh God, for salvation, oh God, in his soul, Lord. We pray, oh God, for healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Also, my God, Tony, oh God, we pray for salvation, Lord. He can see, Lord, that he needs you, oh God. Oh, 
Jesus, Lord, you can heal him, Father, Lord, no matter what his condition is, Father. Touch him, Father, Lord, heal him. Oh, God, so that your name can be glorified and exalted, oh, God. Breathe upon Sister First One this morning, Father, God. She need a touch, Father, God. Touch her ears, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, oh, God, have mercy upon us, oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus, visit the hospitals, heavenly Father, Lord. Touch the sick, Father, everyone, Father, Lord. Comfort, Father, Lord. In the name of Jesus, heal the wounds, Father, God. Oh, Lord, we lift up, oh, God, brother, Patrick, thou choice, oh, God. Have mercy upon his soul, God. Have mercy upon his soul, Lord Jesus. He needs you, oh God. Lord Jesus, no matter what how we feel, Lord, he will still stand up and worship you and lift up his hand, Lord. And magnify your name, Lord Jesus. But then I cry out to you, oh God, to remember him in your mercy, oh God. But the Lord, I pray for total healing, Father God. For his heart's desire, God, is to do your will, oh God. Have mercy, Lord. We pray for total healing, Holy God. In the name of Jesus, your word says that you was wounded for our transgressions. You was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes we are healed. We receive your healing this morning, oh God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise and all the honor. And those who are not with us this morning, Father, you touch upon them, Lord. The desire for the place of worship. The desire to worship you, to praise you wherever they are, Lord. Your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything shall be added. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Remember them in your mercy, God. And I pray so that nothing may not separate them from you, Father God. Oh God, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you for what you are about to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Bless you.
Jesus. Praise God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Praise your wonderful name. Hallelujah. All the glory, all the praise, all the thanksgiving. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Bless your name, bless her. Let's just continue to praise God and worship, worship him in song. Lift up the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. the name Yes. 
Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. We lift up your name. Praise and honor to your wonderful name. Praise to your glorious name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we love you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to pick up the tithes and offering. I'm asking Kalani to come and help us. Amen. In Jesus' name, God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. So give joyfully, sing as you gave, amen, hallelujah.
Lord, I thank you for this offering. I thank you that for everything. I thank you for the days that you have blessed us with, God. God, thank you for this offering. I hope that it covers up all the bills. Even did no one put it's okay, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanksgiving to thee, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you. Hallelujah. Holy heart. Praise and honor to your name. Praise to your glorious name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let us, let us go in our Bibles to the book of 1 John. Amen. 1 John chapter 4. John chapter 4 and verse number 4. Ye are of God, 
little children and have overcome them because greater greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world Lord Jesus bless the ministry of your word this morning speak to us oh God correct us challenge us encourage us my God hallelujah revive Lord through the power of your word Lord bring deliverance and healing comfort Lord hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Lord amen and let the people of the Lord say amen I, I, um, I want to talk this morning I'm going to make the title of this message life greatest hack H-A-C-K um, the, the um, proliferation of social media has made the word hack um, have a special meaning when we talk about life hacks. If you go to social media platforms in particular, those that present to you videos, um, there will be videos that you will watch and it's going to say this is a life hack. And they may, as a housewife, they may show you Little things that you didn't realize that can make your work in the house a lot easier. Amen. Little tips about cleaning. Things that you could use in your household without having to go and buy some expensive product. Amen. Like um, I have come to realize that the combination of um, carbonate, bicarbonate of soda and vinegar can be a very good cleaner. I don't know if you're aware of that. Amen. And they call that a, li a life hack. And so for all different areas, for a mechanic working on a car, they're going to show you hacks that you could use to simplify a lot of things. But I want to talk about the greatest life hack. Praise the Lord. The greatest thing that can make situations in your life easier than they are up to this point in time. You see, oftentimes when we look at the condition in the world, and especially in the church, we can become discouraged. Hallelujah. Because that verse talks about he that is in the world. And uh, let me not mince words and uh, to say that who John is referring in 1 John chapter 4 and verse number 4 when he says, he that is in the world, it is Satan, Lucifer, the devil that he is talking about. Amen, amen. It seems like Satan has free reign in the world. If we look at our own island of St. Lucia, at what is happening, I, I heard on the news last week, a 15-year-old um, girl was shot dead. Amen. And um, the rumors are that, you know, she was involved in things that she shouldn't be involved in. And uh, that has become the norm of hearing these kinds of things where it seems like the devil is in control. And as I said, it's not only in the world, but it seems like even in the church, if we really focus on what we see on the surface, we can become discouraged as a people of God. I want you to notice that the word that is used there to compare the difference between the one that is in you and the one that is in the world is the word greater. Hallelujah. And if my 
English language serves me correct. Greater means there is one that is great. The only way you can have a greater is because you have a great. And I want you to know that John recognizes the devil as a great power. Come on, somebody, help me preach. Hallelujah. He has tremendous influence. If you look at the direction that the world is going right now, hallelujah. Amen. The devil has tremendous influence. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. When we read the word of God, we have certain titles that refers to the devil. Amen. I read when we talk about spiritual warfare, it talks about principalities that we wrestle against. It means the powers of Satan. Principalities, powers. The Bible also talks about dominions and authorities and rulers and thrones and wicked spirits. Hallelujah. In the book of Daniel, we read where Daniel prayed to Almighty God. Hallelujah. And God sent an angel to deliver a message to Daniel. But I read there in the book of Daniel that the prince of Persia withstood that angel. I, 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 I'm here to tell you, praise God, I was speaking to somebody about two weeks ago. And uh, uh, that discussion went in the direction of... of People who have spirits that have certain amount of power to um, do evil to other people. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, that individual's response is, um, let me tell you, I don't believe in those kind of things. As a child of God, that is not your attitude. We don't go talking about it, but they are real. I said they are real. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are people who definitely have demonic powers. Hallelujah. There are people who, are, who have the ability to cast spells. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother, ain't that so? The, the magicians of Egypt had the power to turn their rods into serpents. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. The Bible doesn't give us very much detail about these powers and we should approach it the same way the Bible approaches it. Uh, uh, um, hallelujah. The, uh, brother, the Bible don't speak much about it, so I won't speak much about it. But you need to realize that there are powers of wickedness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Let me say again that there are powers of wickedness. Ephesians 2 and verse number 2 says, Wherein... In times past, you walked according to the course of the world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit, amen, that now worketh in the children of disobedience. But the Bible tells me there is a greater spirit than that. There is a greater spirit than the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to know what it is? It's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, in our Sunday school, I, I spoke about if a man be in Christ, he's a new creature. King Saul had evil intents in his heart. He wanted to destroy David. And uh, there were there was messengers who told him where David was. And not going into much detail, he decided he was going to go and fetch David himself to have him killed. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know what happened? A spirit, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. 
You see, it was not the first time that the Spirit of God had come upon him. When he had encountered Samuel, Samuel made a prophecy concerning, concerning, uh, hallelujah, King Saul. And Samuel had told him, Another a spirit is going. Let me let me read it from First Samuel chapter ten and verse number six. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Amen. Amen. I I, I looked it up in the English Standard Version. First Samuel chapter ten and verse number six. The English Standard Version says the Spirit of the Lord will rush. You know, and when I read that in the English Standard Version, I'm reminded of what happened on the day of Pentecost. And suddenly, oh my God, hallelujah. And suddenly, there came the sound from heaven. Of a rushing mighty wind. Amen. Hallelujah. And here I read in 1 Samuel. That the spirit of the Lord. Rushed upon him. It can happen to you. In an instant of time. In Acts chapter 10. The Bible tells me. That while Peter. Yet spake these words. The Holy Ghost came. Upon Cornelius and his household. Greater is he. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I want you to know the fact that a comparison is made between the spirit in the world and the spirit of God. Hallelujah. A limit is placed on the powers of the devil. It doesn't matter how powerful the devil is. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I, my, my. Greater is he. Some, uh, some of us don't believe that verse. Earlier I spoke about, you know, and some of you may be just as skeptical as the person I spoke to two weeks ago when I said that the discussion came on um, pe people who have demonic powers. Some of you might be skeptical about that. But some of you may do like the people of Samaria who considered Simon the sorcerer to have great power. Listen, listen. But the bottom line is, when you have the Holy Ghost inside of you, when God's Spirit takes up residence and you know, hallelujah, if you've spoken in tongues, you have God's Spirit, hallelujah, amen, 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 you have God's Spirit in you and the devil, it doesn't matter how powerful he is. Oh, you ain't, get, you ain't got what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I see a lot of great people of great strength. Hallelujah. And the devil is, has been able to overcome their lives. I, I read in the Old Testament of ruin brought on people's lives because of the devil. But the Bible tells me I've got something greater. Amen, amen, amen. amen. There is no limit. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read the story of Job and, and Satan wanted to destroy Job, God put a limit on what uh, Satan could do. That spirit of God is living in me. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me. Hallelujah. Those of you 
those of you who have a concern about people doing evil in your life, a concern that you should not even have. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You who are hearing my voice and you are troubled because you believe somebody may be up to no good using the power of the devil against you. First John chapter 4 and verse number 4. Greater is he that is in me. Hallelujah. First John chapter 5 verse number 4. Turn to first John chapter 5 verse number 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh. Hallelujah. Whatsoever. That's why the book of Romans tells us in all of these things we are more than conquerors because the Holy Spirit that is in me is greater hallelujah than anything Satan can throw at me and oh my God hallelujah 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 amen 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 for whosoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith the next verse is in the for, is in the form of a question you will see it ends in a question mark who Verse 4, whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world even. So who, who is that person? The, the question asks, who is that person? Who is that person that can say, greater is he that is in me? Let the devil come. I don't lose sleep. I don't get disturbed. I don't get worried. I have no anxiety. It's not that, like that person that says, I don't believe in those things, but I believe what the word of God says. Who? Is he that overcometh the world? And it says, but he. That what? That believe that Jesus. There is something in a Christian's life. That makes him overcome anything that the devil is going to throw at him. And the Bible says, who is that person? Who is that person that the devil can't have victory in their life? That they're going to overcome this world. Hallelujah, praise God, praise God. And the Bible says that person is the one who believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Hallelujah. John describes the faith, the conquering faith, the faith that is victorious. It is the faith that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to know why? In Jesus, through Jesus, the living God.
came into this world. Hallelujah. Can I say it again? In Jesus, in the body of Jesus, in the incarnation, and he and the word became flesh. Hallelujah. The God of glory took upon him the form of a man and came into this world. Hallelujah. And allowed man to put him on a cross. Hallelujah. The book of Psalm chapter 8 and verse number 4 says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And it goes on to say, Thou visited him, the God of glory, the eternal God. Amen, amen, amen. What is man? In our Sunday school class, I'm going to tell you why God is mindful of man. It's because man was made in God's own image and in his likeness. Praise the Lord. And he took on the form of a man and he came into this world. Praise the Lord. I want to read what Job had to say about God visiting man. In Job 7 and verse number 17, he kind of asked the same question that the psalmist asked in Psalm 8 and verse number 4. And Job asked the question in Job chapter 7 and verse 17, What is man that thou shouldest magnify him? And thou shouldest set thine heart upon him. And thou shouldest visit him. Uh, hallelujah. Every morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every new day, the God of glory visits me. Every day, hallelujah, the God who created the heaven and the earth visits me. Praise the Lord, amen. In the book of Lamentation, the prophet Jeremiah speaks about the mercies of God. In, in Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 22, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new. Hallelujah. Every single day, God's mercies are new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The one that is in you is the God of glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And because the God of glory lives in me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I can face. Hallelujah. Greater is what that is in me than any situation. Oh, praise the Lord. Greater is the spirit that is in me than the mountain that is in front of me. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me than the storm that I'm going through. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Greater is he that is in me than anything the devil is trying to do in my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Attempted to hinder Daniel's prayer. Hallelujah. But in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's stand in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. You have something in you. I, I'm here to tell you, you have something in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. The victory is yours because of the Holy Ghost, because Christ in you. The power of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody in an old-fashioned way, 
just worship God just thank him thank him for the victory thank him for the indwelling spirit thank him for working in your life hallelujah oh somebody greater is he praise the name of the Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we honor you, God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. 